Story is also new tonight. Fairfax County Public Schools will keep its current policies in place for students who are transgender. This even though Virginia's Department of Education put out new guidelines for the upcoming school year. It's a big update that Adam Longo has new reporting on from the newsroom tonight. Adam, what do you know? So, so there was a rally at Luther Jackson Middle School in Fairfax tonight, a gathering of people who were hopeful that school leaders here would reject the new trans policies by the Yunkin administration. And that's exactly what happened. This makes Fairfax only the third jurisdiction in Northern Virginia to rebuff the newly released state guidelines. Arlington and Alexandria City are the others. Now we got this letter from the Fairfax School Superintendent just within the past couple of hours. And it says existing policies will still stand, meaning transgender students will continue to be addressed by their chosen names and pronouns. They will continue to be provided with access to facilities, activities and or trips consistent with their gender identity. And they will continue to have their privacy respected regarding gender expansive or transgender status, legal name or sex assigned at birth. Listen to what we heard at tonight's rally. I know that there are people who are getting misgendered daily. I know that there are people who don't feel comfortable coming out to their schools, to their teachers, to anybody because of the policies that Governor Yunkin is proposing and because of the fact that if their parents knew about the fact that they were transgender, they would not be safe in their schools. All right, so let's talk consequences. Will there be any for school districts that don't follow these model policies headed down by Richmond? Short answer, we don't know. A Virginia Department of Education spokesperson says local school boards are expected to follow the law. But in Fairfax, this letter says they did a detailed legal review and found their policy to be fully in line with state and federal anti-discrimination laws. Governor Yunkin and his administration has the next move now. Back to you. All right.